This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Quen VL Chat. So this is a multi-modal model from Alibaba Group. So this is a visual language model. And what are the kind of tasks which it can do? Okay. So uh, let's go to a demo and then let's come back to the paper. Okay. For the demo, uh, Kemendru has this uh, you know collab notebook so i'm just going to directly try it out so i have actually loaded the collab notebook and i run it okay and uh, i open up this gradio app okay so what i've done is that i've uploaded this particular image of the founders of apple uh, tesla google right amazon microsoft and meta you know this is a collage image and then I asked this question, who are these people in this image? Okay, so this model replies that this image is a collage of six photos featuring six men. These are likely to be celebrities or public figures. I cannot determine their names or identities without more information. So what do I do? I give additional information saying that the bottom rightmost picture is that the, uh, the founder of Meta. Who is he? Then the model replies that the bottom rightmost picture is of Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, which is known as Meta. So it is able to do this. Okay. Then I ask the question: uh, the bottom rightmost, the bottom middle is the CEO of Microsoft. Who is he? Then it says the bottom uh, middle is actually photos of Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. Now you can, if you go back to the paper, uh, you know here you can do things like. Right, if I were to zoom in a little bit more here, you can do things like, you know, you can actually give an image and say, can you find Spider-Man and Hulk? And then it draws bounding boxes around Spider-Man and Hulk over here in this image. Okay, uh, let me zoom in a little bit and you can see over here. Right, so I thought in this demo, let me ask like, can you draw a bounding box around Satya Nadella in this image? It actually draws a box, but not on Satya Nadella, but on Elon Musk. Okay, some of the bottom right is somewhere lost in this uh, bottom middle is somewhere lost in this context. Okay, but then it can also localize. So it can do various tasks like this, right? Uh, this is in Chinese. So I think it's about, you know, in this bounding box, who is there and it tries to say it is Bill Gates. Okay, or given this image of a code and then you are asking like the solution in the image is to find the minimum value, but uh, there is a bug, can you fix it? Then it is able to read this image and identify, you know, what is this problem and then it tries to solve it and gives you the code, right? Then things like bounding box based localization on this image, can you find Spider-Man and Hulk? Okay, it draws a bounding box. Then things like, you know, this is an image which is given and based on the photo, which floor is the department of orthopedics. So the department of orthopedics is on third floor. So it identifies that. Then based on the photo, which floor is the department of orthopedics on? Okay. Uh, so it again says the department of orthopedics is on the third floor. Okay. Right. Then you have another example of, you know, given these images, write a story about these pictures and then it is able to generate a story. Okay. So it can perform various tasks. Okay. Like visual question answering. Right. Uh, so what kind of task can it perform? It performs uh, various level uh, tasks like, you know, uh, it supports text recognition. It uh, performs grounding. It is able to do, uh, you know, uh, visual question answering, it is able to do image captioning, right? So these kind of tasks are supported by this particular model. And uh, why is this model so special, right? Uh, you know, why is it special? Say you have already either fix, you have, uh, you know, uh, you are Salesforce, uh, you know, and there was a model from Salesforce blip two, right? Uh, those are also multimodal models, right? Uh, but this model actually outperforms all of those models on benchmarks, right? On various tasks like captioning, VQA, visual question and answering, text generation, reference grounding, grounding, grounded captions, OCR, right? Now, if you were to look at the performance of this particular model, uh, you know, on these various benchmarks, right? This is the evaluation benchmark summary. Let's go to the scores over here see here you can actually see the scores of this model against all the other models like blip 
right cosmos flamingo uh, you know this model gives much better performance compared to any of these models right uh, you know it kind of blows them over here in the sense that uh, blip is 42.4 this is 63.8 on text oriented visual question answering right uh, so on the benchmarks it is doing a really good job okay and what is the architecture of this particular model the architecture is that they have a language model quen lm and they have uh, you know for the image uh, this thing they have for the image encoder they have a vis uh, vision uh, image transformer okay that is the idea over here and this is how they are training the dia model so there is this training pipeline in pre training what they are doing is, is that they are giving image text pairs right text goes to the quen lm and image goes to the vit and then you know they are uh, uh, learning uh, you know there is cross attention layer which is trying to learn query embeddings okay right and this llm is used to generate the output okay so that is the idea over here uh, so their network architecture consists of quen vl uh, which adopts a language model as its foundational component the large language model quen vl okay it has 7 billion architecture uh, you know details are present in another paper uh, the visual encoder part is vision uh, transformer and then they have a position aware vision language adapter uh, which kind of uh, compresses uh, so what this does is that uh, to alleviate the efficiency issues from arising from large image uh, feature sequences it this adapter uh, is a single layer cross attention module okay so that is what is learned between the cross attention between images and text so that is the idea over here okay more details are present in the paper uh so this is how they are doing their uh, training so the input is actually image input as well as you can have text input right so the image input uh, is uh, you know differentiate between image feature and uh, text feature you have this uh, based on this you know vit encoder you get the output and those features are uh, you know uh, the tokens are present between this image and slash image tags okay for image feature sequences then you can have you can also have bounding box input and output so they have particular uh, you know ways of uh, encoding that okay right that's the idea so you can have also have interleaved input right so basically chat interleaved data so in this case in the first case you have this text plus image right so this is your text uh, tokens and the, uh, image tokens which are interleaved sometimes after some time you can have text plus image plus text so again you can have this chat interleaved uh, data okay for your supervised fine tuning right so in the pre training stage uh, they are using a pair of image text pairs over here so that is this particular stage okay uh, so and uh, in the multi task pre training what they are doing is that they are pre training again on various tasks like captioning uh, vqa visual question answering grounding reference grounding grounded captions ocr and text generation this is the second stage of uh, this thing where uh, they are introducing high quality and fine grained visual language annotation data In the first case it is just paired data of text and images here you have these annotated data on which they do pre training okay this is the second stage and what they say over here is that they increase the input resolution of the visual encoder from 224 into 224 into to 448 into 448 to reduce information loss caused by image down sampling then they do supervised fine tuning uh, you know where this pre trained model uh, is uh, you know fine tuned through instruction fine tuning resulting in the final interactive quen vl chat model okay the multi model instruction tuning data primarily comes from the caption data or dialog data generated through llm self instruction uh which often addresses single dialog image and reasoning is limited to image content comprehension they use an additional set of dialog data through manual annotation model generation and strategy concatenation to incorporate localization and multi image comprehension capability so this is where they are describing how they are doing it okay they also mix multi model and pure text dialog data to uh, during tray models university in universability in dialog capabilities okay so the instruction tuning data amounts to 350k 
So this is the data set format for the chat. So you have uh, this image, uh, you know, yeah, uh, data. You also have the text data and it is interleaved and given for supervised fine tuning. So that is the idea. You can look at this paper for further details. Okay. So this is a very, uh, you know, interesting new model. Uh, you can also go and try it out using this uh, Kevin Andrews uh, collab notebook. You can launch this, uh, you know, uh, Gradio app on collab. Only thing is it needs to be a GPU instance and then you can actually try it out. Maybe we can quickly try out uh, one more image. Uh, let me clear history. And let's upload another image. Uh, let's upload this image. Let's see what it is. This is mostly the, you know, Okay, this is a meme on um, AI, right? The Scooby-Doo meme on AI, where AI is just if else statements. So let me say that explain, explain this image, and let me submit. Let's see what is the output here. Okay, the image is a meme of the Scooby-Doo character pointing to a figure wrapped in the tape with the text AI above it. The figure has two options, then and else written on it. And the next one, the scene is shown from three different angles. First is a close-up. Now it goes for a mess over here. Right, uh, you know, this part is kind of it goes for a mess. So in some cases, it is not able to actually explain the image over here. Maybe if I ask like, uh, you know, what is present and what text is present what text is present in the bottom of the bottom image bottom part let's see what comes up over here Okay, it's getting generated. Text in the bottom part says in and goes for a toss. Okay, maybe it goes into this loop of this image and says it has end. Could be, right? Uh, I'm not able to zoom in this image. Uh, maybe I'll quickly open up that image and uh, let's see what it is. Okay, yeah, it is picking up this end over here. Okay, yeah, so the bottom part, it, yeah, this is the bottom part of the image, it is picking up this uh, text end, but it is still not able to explain this meme, or maybe I'll ask explain this meme. It's generating the output, let's wait for it. The meme is a play on the idea of artificial it make decisions and learn to image shows a figure wrapped in the letters written and two options. It cannot switch its reference to the idea that sometimes AM system a lack of context. Uh, no, no, that's not the exact explanation. The humorous take is that, uh, you know, when people talk AI, it's generally if then else statements, you know, the wrapped with AI. Okay, you call it as AI. That's the idea over here. But interesting demo you can go and try it out i'll be putting the link to this collab notebook this is from kevin andrew so you can put a star over here right for this repository i'll be putting this repository i'll put it i'll be putting the hugging face page and the paper uh, links in the description of the video uh, please check it out i hope you like this video if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video